I'm going to do Neuro's jokes first because Neuro brought, sent me a bunch of jokes for you. Thank you. Right. Um, I'm going to do his first. Uh, I bought the world's worst thesaurus yesterday. Not only was it terrible, but it was also terrible. <laughs> you didn't get any extra words. Uh. <laughs> a biologist, a chemist, and a statistician, but they're out hunting. The biologist shoots at a deer and misses five feet to the left. The chemist takes a shot and misses five feet to the right. The statistician yells, We got him! Because on average, it uh, on average, else. there you go, buddy. <laughs> Yay. That's cute. A guy goes on a date, and the next day his friend asks how it went. The guy says, well, not so great. I couldn't stop talking about my obsession with simplifying fractions. Friend says, oh, gosh, yeah, you really shouldn't do that. The guy says, well, you know what they say, hindsight is one. <laughs> I tried this one. <laughs> Jean Paul Sartre is sitting at a French cafe working on an early draft of Being in Nothingness. He asks the waitress, I'd like a cup of coffee, please, with no cream. The waitress says, I'm sorry, monsieur, but we're out of cream. How about no with no cream? Oh, why not? You're breaking up. Yeah, you lost. Oh, shit. Am I really? Sorry. Yeah, we missed yeah. that. Should I start that one over? Yeah, start I'll over. start that one over, yeah. All right, Jean-Paul Sartre is sitting at a French cafe working on an early draft of Being and Nothingness. He asks the waitress, I'd like a cup of coffee, please, with no cream. The waitress says, I'm sorry, monsieur, but we're out of cream. How about with no milk? <laughs> <laughs> There are ten types of people in the world. Those who understand binary and those who don't. <laughs> First guy, he walks into a bar. He says, I'll have H2O. Second guy walks in a bar. He says, I'll have H2O too. And the second guy dies. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's peroxide. <laughs> H2O too. Hydrogen peroxide. Oh, gosh. Hey, what do you get when you cross a joke with a rhetorical question? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. What do you get if you cross a joke? There's no answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. An good. infinite line of mathematicians walk into a bar. The first mathematician orders a beer. The second, a half a beer. The third, a fourth of a beer, etc. The bartender sets two beers down and says... You gentlemen should really know your limits. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah. This programmer, he received a shopping list. Buy a packet of milk. If they have eggs, buy a dozen. The programmer returned with 13 packets of milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So after a long day's work in the lab, Pavlov sat down in the pub for a cold beer and some snacks. Everything's calm till somebody rings the bell for the waiter. Pavlov immediately tenses up, jumps from his chair, almost knocking over his pint, exclaiming, holy shit, I gotta feed the damn dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's standing on top of a building ready to jump. A physicist is walking by and sees this and shouts, Don't do it! You have so much potential! <laughs> <laughs> About 5,000 joules. <laughs> and the last one Neuro had was, A Freudian slips when you say one thing and mean your mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love those. And that's Neuro's for the night. Oh, yeah, good. those were really soothing right. to me. Yay, yeah. Neuro!